see Jensi back at it again. <laughs> Yo, this is an awesome episode. We are in the facility of IET Air Ambulance, right? Haiti Air Ambulance. And we're going to be show, we're going to be taking you guys on an experience to show you, hey, it doesn't matter where you are, how remote you may be in Haiti. We know Haiti has road issues. You know Haiti has issues as it relates to hey, traffic. Something may happen to you while you're out and about, out in the provinces or heck, even in the city. And it's so important to know that, hey, there is a service that exists that will get you from point A to point B and save your life. The biggest criticism you hear about Haiti is, listen, be careful while you're out there. Don't get sick, don't get into an accident. You, there's no hospitals, not true. There's no ambulances, not true. Hey, there's no helicopter service for a while. That was true. IT Air Ambulance is back this year and we're going inside to show you what's available and how affordable it is. Listen, stay tuned. Don't change that dial. See, Janty is all about showing you what's possible, what exists in the country. If you like what's going on here, if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. We've got a lot of real cool stuff to show you. Enough chit chat. Let's go. Inside the facility here, uh, and it is uh, really interesting. This is actually a bunch of shipping containers that they've cut open and, and made into this L shaped hangar office area, which is really cool, right? You know, in terms of being a reuse and eco friendly, <laughs> right? This place has uh, the, the crew that works here, there's 20 full time staff, right? And there's a rotating core of volunteers. Uh, of around 10 or so. And what's so cool about these rotating core of volunteers is that they're from all over America. They bring incredible capacity. I'm talking about once all over America, from Utah to Maine. I mean, you're from all across the US and they're bringing a, an incredible amount of capacity and skill set to, uh, to the country, right? Because they're training the full-time staff that are here with the industry world best standards and procedures, right? Which is, which is important, right? If we're gonna really uh, provide the necessary quality and care uh, that Haiti needs. This place started, uh, IT Ambulance started in 2014, okay? And it was really as a response to the need that was found during the earthquake. The earthquake made it crystal clear that there was a need for emergency evac, because uh, it when folks would want to think the earthquake happened just in Port-au-Prince, but actually it was all throughout the south of Haiti, all the way through uh, Miyagwan, right? And so, you know, so it was, it was, it was obvious, you know, we needed something like this to fortify and give folks life-saving options uh, in the country. And, and since then, they've been on the ground and the amount of lives, the amount of impact they've done uh, is too many to count. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> I'm not one to yap or dominate my own channel. I wanna, I wanna bring in a professional, a guy who's been through it all, Billy Stewart. Billy Stewart is a, a, a uh, air a flight paramedic. Paramedic That's from right. Maine. From Maine, yep, from just Maine. Uh, Portland, Maine, which is <laughs> like five hours north of New York. Right, so right. Uh, pretty far from uh, Port au Prince, Miami. Awesome, awesome. Listen, thanks for taking some time. Yeah, thanks off. for coming out. For, yeah, appreciate it to, to be out here and, and, and see the incredible crowd I'm seeing in my view right now, the, looking at the helicopter. That is a, what, what's the what's the brand and name of that? So that's way? a Bell 407. Okay, okay. Yep. Yeah, how fast? What's the stats on that? I'm just kidding. Uh, it cruises around 130, 140 uh -huh. miles per hour. Uh -huh. So nice, we can make nice. up a, a lot of time yeah. pretty quick. Now, Billy, so air, you hear air paramedic, but like really, what does that mean? What do you, what do, you do exactly? So a flight paramedic is a paramedic who's gone for some extra education and got what they call on the critical care level, which enables us to give more meds. We do more procedures than the average paramedic. Um, and then from there, we go on to do training in the helicopter to become a, a certified flight paramedic. So we're not just, um, 
you know, flying around in the helicopter to get, pick somebody up and get them from point A to point B. The skills that we're doing in the helicopter are comparable to most, um, you know, operating rooms, intensive care units, emergency rooms. We're really operating at a uh, physician level wow. as soon as we get to the patient um, from the helicopter. So in the helicopter, you're doing all this? Yeah, that helicopter, as small as it looks, is really a flying emergency room, it's a flying ICU, it's a flying operating room, whatever we need to do, we have the tools, the training, and the resources to do it. Wow, wow. That reminds me of a story where literally just three weeks ago, at Tagaz, there was a major party that happened. Mm -hmm. Something happened that you know, gravely injured an attendee. It, they they tried to put on a moto. They went, went so far, the guy had passed out, he was losing a lot of blood, mm -hmm. right? They put him on the back of a tap tap. The tap tap broke down. <laughs> they uh, uh, and then and then the guy put him on on the on the back of his truck. Went to three different hospitals. Three different hospitals. And it wasn't until the third they finally had a surgeon on staff. It was late at night. It was like 4 a.m. And they had a surgeon on staff. And and they started treating him. The guy died, passed away. And I'm so, thinking, I didn't, I didn't know about air ambulance at the time. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking they didn't probably know about air ambulance. Right. And you guys put a flu out there and, and saved him. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate when we hear these stories of times that we, we could have been utilized, but no one thought to use us. Um, and I can think of just, I mean, every sentence you just told me, there's a red flag where it's like, that shouldn't have happened. When it comes to him bleeding out and having to get on a moto, you know, we, we have all the equipment to, you know, not only get him from Kenskoff down to wherever he needs to go, but we can stop the bleeding, we can treat any additional injuries. And then when you say they were having a hard time finding a receiving hospital, you know, that's tough to hear because part of our operation is before we even lift to go get a patient, our specialists in the communication center will um, already arrange all that. So before we even take off, we have a receiving hospital. And that's, I think, maybe the biggest misconception about Aaron is that I think I get some feedback. I'll be, I'll be frank, even when I first heard about it, I thought, oh man, this is for the tourists and the people from yeah. abroad. But it, that, is that the case? Like, what's the percentage of folks who you're, who you're flying? Give us some examples. I mean, the overwhelming percentage of the patients we fly are Haitian citizens. Um, probably 99.9% .9 of our patients are Haitian citizens. Um, we're here for the people of Haiti. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be a tourist. Um, we are here for the community, and that's that's the whole point of Haiti Air Ambulance. Is that you know our our slogan is there's hope in the skies of Haiti, and that's not for the tourists. That's for everyone. There's hope for every Haitian citizen that if if they need help, we'll be there to get them. Here in this top-notch training room, I mean, you have a lot of very nice equipment in here. You have uh, dolls. I mean, I mean, a lot of this stuff you may you may be like, not too many of this stuff is in Haiti. In fact, a lot of the doctors um, from other hospitals come here to hold some of the training sessions for their for their uh, doctors and nurses and EMT and etc. Pleasure for me to be here and. And to talk to Dr. Timajust. Timajust. Uh, thank you so much, Doctor, for uh, having uh, being here and, and spending some time with us. Yeah. Now, how long have you been with ITR Ambulance? Um, it's uh, two years. Two years. Two years, yeah. And before, which hospital uh, were you working? Um, for me, I get trained at um, Nearby Hospital. Nearby Hospital, one of the best I, hospitals uh, in the country, yeah. by the way. Yeah, as emergency physician and. Uh, I work for other hospitals, and actually I work for St. Boniface, another hospital okay. in the south, okay. and I work here at IT Umbrella awesome. as flight as flight physician. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, really yeah. yeah, that you're here. And, and now, when we say flight physician, that means you're in the airplanes. Yeah, yeah I fly with the helicopter too, because wow. I see patient at the yeah. ED, but other times I fly patient, I would fly critical patient as in the same settings. Yeah. And, and so, so how cool is that, guys, that you know, uh, we showed you Billy, the, the paramedic from, from, from Maine of America, right, uh, coming. And then you got one of the best uh, trained doctors of Haiti, Mirabali Hospital. And, and they're in the, they're in the uh, helicopter with you. So literally, you're in a mobile hospital. This is it. This is it. Actually, we, as you can see this, we are trained and we provide the high 
a very high level of care for our patient. The patient we take, we fly from an hospital to another hospital. We are sure that we provide the best level of care we can. And for us, this is another part of our job. We fly patient, we fly clinical patient, but we train the nurse and the docs in the country too. Fantastic. Yeah. It makes me so much more at ease to know that <laughs> yeah. that exists. And you're, you potentially would be with me or someone uh, in, yeah, this, in, this, in this is it. Yeah, this, this is stuff. it. Yeah. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. This is a pleasure. Yeah. A pleasure. Right. And Kenley Fred, what's up, man? How you doing? Good, and you? <laughs> good, good, good. Happy to have some time to chat with yep. you. Heavily involved in you. Yep. Help folks register and set up. Tell us about the members, because a lot of my folks, are IT, uh, Haitian diaspora, they're coming in. They always, there's always this conception about, you know, facilities and medical uh, facilities that may be available in case something happens to them. As we talked about, yep. IT Ambulance is a massive in service, not only for Haitians, but also folks visiting. Okay, yeah. So what sort of plans exist for folks to buy into even before they come in the country? Yeah, the first of all, we have the, the membership plan. We have three planes. So we have the individual plan, we have the family plan, and we have the short-term plan. So the first, the membership plan is like, you ensure your security, you ensure your, your safety here, and the membership plan, the individual plan is $36 per year, not per month. The per year. You pay one year plan for thirty six dollars for wow. one person. Thirty six. I don't know if you heard that. Thirty six dollars for the year. Like people can wow. believe this. Yeah. So it's cover or everything for you. So we have the second plan, the family plan. So it's seventy five dollars per year. So you know anything else to pay after that. So and that covers you, your wife, you, kids. You don't have kids, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Four up to four. Well, yeah. What's the max number? Is there a max number? No, no. Okay, not, okay. If you're under twenty one, mm -hmm. so you're good. Okay. You know, for the family. Plan. Okay, if anyone under twenty one, yeah. great. Okay. And we have the shelter plan, like for expat people yeah. or for tourism, like mm -hmm. when they came here in Haiti, so it is twenty five dollars for forty teens day. So that's it. So twenty five dollars for two weeks, guys, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer, say less, as they yes. say. You know, it's, it's a no-brainer. Uh, I wanna thank you for that information. I, I wanna encourage Later. you guys to, now that you've heard, you've seen, you, you know how much it costs, uh, just be prudent, be safe, yeah. be smart, be financially responsible. Go to their website, you know, we are pay, everywhere. right? Facebook, Fa Instagram, Twitter, right. and uh, the website, so right. adrambulance.org. So go to adrambulance, Creole, and English. So in French also, so go to subscribe, call exactly. us for information. Exactly, I love it. Inside the helicopter, we're gonna take off. Hear me? We're gonna take off. But before we do, I wanted to uh, first off get a sense of what the heck am I inside right now, right? And so I have Rock EMT hey, man. <laughs> yes. here with us. So, but before we even take off, let me tell you that you know because you need to know stuff about about, about the helicopter. So we are, we are very equipped, you know, we have everything that we need to, if we need, if we do need to fly, go take a patient. Mm -hmm. Like we have a, a little bag right here, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. full of equipment, mm -hmm. everything that we want here. And this is actually a monitor, you know, mm -hmm. in which we take the patient vital sign, mm -hmm. you know, we can really assess the patient. Mm -hmm. And this is a patient vent, mm -hmm. you know, ventilator. So we have our oxygen ready here. Mm -hmm. We have gloves, you know, we have a suction suction mm -hmm. behind us you know we have vein circuit adults and peds mm -hmm. we have everything yeah, in, in terms here. of yeah i mean really it, 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 it's a mobile hospital other people think that haiti at haiti ambulance we're only here to to help people that have money yeah yeah but uh the idea is not really that you know yeah. because haiti ambulance help all kind of people whether yeah. you have money whether you don't have money mm -hmm. because we fly from Porter Prince to Jatmel Jeremy imagine if we fly from Porter Prince to Jatmel Jeremy Lekai or wherever in Haiti those people 
they don't really have money. Yeah, so yeah. we provide care for everyone that in need, you know? So wherever they call us, we You're get ready. ready. To go. We're ready to go. I love it. Ready to go, re ready to deliver, I mean, care. Proper care, adequate care for every single person. I love it. You know? I love it. And and you're and a lot of times you're 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 in this right here and you're giving yeah, that care you know, to, giving to that care, you know providing care yeah. to the patient man like help us assist with vital signs you know helping transferring the patient with the stretcher you know do my best to help my people to okay. help patient people well guess what you're gonna need to help me because we're about to go up on this bad boy so let's strap in <laughs> and let's get going as a, I'm a qualified person I should give you a briefing before before we take off you know? but before you approach your helicopter you need to make sure that you you make eye contact with the pilot and give the thumb up, thumbs up, you know? And then when the pilot sees you, give you the thumbs up, you give the thumbs up back, and then now you can approach the helicopter with your head, you know? Just like that. And then you come, you open the door, and then make sure that you, you have your seat belt, seat belt on, you know? There you go, all right? You got the earmuffs here, all right? You got your earmuffs, okay? Behind the pilot, by pilot's head, we have the uh, fire extinguisher. If there's fire, you don't have to worry, you know? We're here to take care of everything, man, all right? That's good, Nice, man. nice. So, Thanks, Rock. Yeah. I feel a lot comfortable. I am ready to go. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, it's been a wrap. We were, we've shown you around. We've talked to the uh, some of the awesome A1 staff that runs uh, IT Air Ambulance. We've been up in the sky, came back down. <laughs> now we're wishing you a, a dupe uh, per always see Genti. We have so much content just like this. If you appreciated what we did here with the, the information you learned, you wanna hit that big red button. You wanna follow. You want to share this video and, and, and help with the algorithms by giving it a thumb a thumbs up, a, a heart, and just give me a little bit of commentary. Talk to me. Did this? Re did you really gain something out of this? I think you did. Leave a comment, <laughs> right? Most importantly, I really want to drive home that you know, IT Air Ambulance. It's here for IET, just like the name IET to IECN. I want to drive that. I want to make folks understand that is the reality. I also thought that it was for just a select spy of the population. That isn't true. As we, as we talked about, there's membership plans. If you're coming in the country, you pay peanuts. Guys, it ranges from 35 to 14-ish dollars. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? <laughs> listen, this IT Air Ambulance, remember that. And guys, I think I'm just going up for a second round. Don't tell the pilot. We'll be back at it again, guys. And we're back at it again. Peace.